Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing Rugby 22 for the first time in a long, long time. I'm going to be playing as Wales against Australia, replicating this weekend's Autumn Nations game. And we're just going to see how the, playing ga how the game plays Sorry, after being out since January of this year. So before we get into it, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below, let me know your current thoughts on Rugby 22 and how you see it in the rankings of rugby video games. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So, here we are guys, Wales versus Australia, playing as two of the licensed teams on this game. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a very, very long time, so it'll be interesting to see how I stack up um, against Australia as Wales. Uh, from what I remember of playing it a little bit at the start of the year, the gameplay was fairly fun. Um, obviously, the game modes are not there in this game, which is what keeps people coming back for more and more. You would like a robust career mode, and unfortunately on this game all they have is um, a career mode which is sort of ultimate team style. So you create your own team, you bring in players, you use cards, things like that. And uh, yeah, that doesn't really interest me at all in any way whatsoever. My ideal type of career mode is playing as a real current team, so say the Bristol Bears or whoever it may be, anyone from around the world, and playing in real life league matches, European matches, things like that. Um, yeah, it just really doesn't interest me at all, playing as a fake team that I've created. As we go now with Louis Rees Samet heading towards the corner. Could this be the first try of the game? And it is for Wales. Within the first 10 minutes, we are over the line. So yeah, the, the gameplay remains fun. It certainly does. And that has not changed since I last played it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the game modes just aren't there. You can play in a league, as a league mode, um, where you play a season as a team in a league so I mean perhaps that is something I could do if there was interest in it that was a terrible terrible kick from me just getting used to the controls again so yeah if there is interest perhaps I could start a, a league mode as a team on this game unfortunately the uh, Premiership is not license on this game um, so unfortunately it wouldn't be as the Bristol Bears there is as Australia go over with Matt Phillip there under the sticks um, yeah there is a couple of mods about uh, there is a mod for the Premiership but that is sort of old kits, old teams things like that so it's not really up to date perhaps I, I could choose one of the license leagues like the UR, URC or something like that and do it on there we shall see but yeah the gameplay is fun I do enjoy the gameplay on this game um, it's probably the best dangerous play from Falatau it's probably the most fun rugby game out there at the minute I would say it's just a shame I mean you've got rugby challenge 4 which absolutely wipes the floor with it in terms of customization and game modes the career mode is exactly what I would like to see in rugby 22 for example um, and yeah the customization is what what wins it hands down because you can just download teams from from the hub as much as you know as your heart's content and it has the robust career mode and different game modes this game, unfortunately, you're stuck with the licensed teams. Oh, you can we get him into touch? Boy, he's burst through several players there, and they've gone down for another try. Still very, very much getting used to these controls again. 
See, it depends what you're after, really. If you want game modes and customization, it's still Rugby Challenge 4. If you want fun gameplay, for me, it's Rugby 22. Um, it's just a shame there isn't a healthy balance between the two, where you get the fun gameplay and the customization and game modes. Um, fingers crossed, that is what we're going to get with the Big Ant Studios Rugby World Cup game that should, should be coming next year in the lead up to the World Cup, you would think. Um, yeah, and I'm very, very much looking forward to that game. Big Ant have a big history with um, customization, deep career modes on all their games. Uh, so if you go back through Cricket 22, the AO tennis games, career modes were good. They started incorporating things like press conferences, training, cutscenes, all that sort of stuff. So if you can imagine that sort of career mode in a rugby game, which you would hope would be quite well licensed if it is going to be a tie-in with the Rugby World Cup. We are pushing them back miles here. If it is a tie-in for the Rugby World Cup, then you would like to think there's going to be a few licenses there. And it just depends whether it's just the licensing for the World Cup, whether it's the licensing for a lot of different leagues. Hands in the ruck, unfortunately, there, trying to turn it over. Uh, we are on the half-time whistle. Yeah, if, if you imagine Cricket 22, for example, and you imagine that with rugby instead of cricket, I think we'd have a good game, of course. It also comes down to gameplay as well. And, you know, I think Big Ant Studios have a good reputation for uh, gameplay. Cricket 22 is fun. The tennis games were fun. You know, not perfect in, by any stretch of the imagination. But they were good, fun times. Are we going to end this half at all in any way? No, I sh really struggle with the line-outs on this game. As we finally win the ball back. Um, but unfortunately we have lost it straight away. Big long pass out here to Jones. And we have dropped it. Advantage Australia. Very, very, very sloppy so far. We started so well with the Louis Rhee Samet try. Nice push back there. Nice. Not sure what's happened there. We got ourselves a scrum. Let's see how we move oh, down. Whoops. Got that one. And then up. Yeah. And then get this LS into circle. Yeah, there we go. We're completing it. We've, we would hope we've won it back. And here we go, George North. Nice from Adams. We keep need to get some practice on these breakdowns as they go over again for their third try. Breakdowns really costing us here. Really costing us. Yeah, the game looks good for the licensed teams. I mean, the kits, a lot of the players, they look good. There is still a bit of jink, jinkiness, is that the word, to the animations and how they look sometimes. It'd be interesting to see whether Big Ant Studios <coughs> excuse me, use this as a base for their game because it is obviously involving Nakon, which... 
are now partnered with Big Ant. Get in there. Really not quick enough. Right, here we go. Pass. Oh, terrible. I probably shouldn't have gone pro on my first game back. Something else has happened here. What are we looking at now? Penalty. Yeah, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Rugby 22. Which game do you prefer? Of course, we still also have the... Probably the great rugby video game of all time. Uh, rugby 08. And as you know, I still play that on the channel. Um, it's just unfortunate at the minute um, my controller hands in the ruck again need to get back into the swing of things with this game yeah I used to play rugby 08 with a PS PlayStation controller um, I've since swapped to Xbox and um, since then I've had a lot of trouble on the game getting that to work um, but yeah, there, there is Rugby 08 content out there still f for you guys. There will be some this weekend for the remaining Autumn Nations games. Um, but yeah, that will be the last te test match of the year, I think, England versus South Africa. Again, more hands in the ruck. This time we've got a scrum. So we're going down first. Yep. We're going triggers. Fine. Yep. Set. And, uh, let's see what we can do here. Where is it? There it is. Couldn't see it then on the white of the pitch. Unfortunately. Why? It's the hands in the ruck. There's just one player there with me. I should be able to jackal. This time they're kicking to the corner. They know I'm absolutely terrible at lineouts, don't they? This Australian team. Oh, thought we might have a chance there to actually uh, do something. Lovely tackle. Nice tackle again. Would love for the guys to have a bit more speed when oh no that's, that's not over is it it is he's stretched from the line this is turning into a right walloping after starting the game so very very well like I said I haven't played this game since January when it came out even when it did come out I didn't really no, didn't really play it too much at all. Just, be, just because after the initial, you know, let's play a few games, let's enjoy it, let's see how we go. There wasn't anything there. You know, I've seen some people playing the so-called career mode on YouTube, and it just doesn't look fun for me at all. It just doesn't look like my sort of thing. Slowly getting the hang of it. Oh, there we go. Game over. So there we have it. Australia have comfortably beat Wales. Is that going to happen in real life? Check out the games on, well, on Amazon if you're in this country. The remaining autumn series games. Wales versus Australia. England versus South Africa. That was me playing Rugby 22 for the first time in a very, very long time more rugby content to come on the bears gamer channel so drop a like if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this game and what you want to see from me in regards to this game a career league mode series perhaps and if you haven't already please do more that subscribe button i'll see you next time in the virtual scrum yeah.